Hi guys. This is probably going to be this is like the tenth tenth one that I'm filming right now for today alone. Because my son will not allow me to film in peace. It's either he will sing or he will come and pull my hair. I will try and appear in the video or one thing or the other. But I am going to continue and sometimes this is what just this just gets to me. But anyway, I will forge ahead. I will forge ahead. So, welcome to the inspirations. Yay! Um, this is the 16th vlog. And uh, I hoped that when I started this vlog, I will be able to post every day or every other day. But it's not been the case because um, I am a mother. And sometimes it can be very distracting with your baby around or you know like other things that i do as well sometimes just distract me and then it's like well before i know it's two days three days four days later and i haven't posted a single vlog um or i film like <laughs> one vlog like 10 times or 15 times and then i just get tired anyway um so today's vlog so I, I apologize for all the craziness but yeah that's what i have to deal with every day anyway today's vlog i am going to be talking about forgiveness right so on this my personal development journey i've discovered that forgiveness and release is a very big part of it so um Forgiveness, basically, I see has two parts based on my perspective and based on my opinion. I don't know about any other person's opinion. I only speak from my perspective, right? So, first off, you need to learn to forgive yourself. As one of my mentors would say, who has lived and has not made a few mistakes? We have all made mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Everybody has made one or two or three. In fact, Everybody has made a lot of mistakes, right? So, the best part of, of all of this is that you have a new slate every morning. Every day you wake up, it's a new slate. It's a new chance for you to start again. So, you wipe the slate clean and you start again every day, every morning, right? Now, secondly, even our Lord Jesus Christ would say, he who has no sin should cast the first stone. So, guess what? Everybody, every human being born of a woman has sinned in one way or the other. So, don't live in it. What I realize a lot of people do is live in it. And guess what? I held on to a few things for a long time until I discovered that you forgiveness is like you putting yourself in prison and unless you forgive you remain in that prison and the only person that can set you free is you is you the only person that can set you free from that bondage is you so until you release until you forgive you remain in that prison you carry a lot of hurt and a lot of baggage and a lot of annoyances and frustrations around the only person that can release you from that bondage, from that prison, is you. Until you forgive, you can't get out. So, basically, <laughs> it goes without saying that forgiveness is a major part of my self-growth journey, my self-development journey. It's a major part. I have to learn every day to forgive myself, to forgive others, and to move on. You know, look for the best the good things about that relationship and hold on to that instead that's what i'm realizing right now that's what i'm realizing and that's what i'm trying to implement in my life slowly but surely you know like it's not just something that just happens you have to learn to do it every day every day little by little over and over again over and over again you have to just learn it gradually it doesn't just happen overnight it's something that is like <laughs> you have to analyze your emotions, analyze your feelings, do some introspection and say, okay, 
what situation am i holding on to what anger bitterness am i holding on to so like when i said a lot of people live in it they live in like the anger the bitterness the resentment the grief from the past a lot of these things happen like in our past and stuff like that and it means like you have to like evaluate those emotions and evaluate those situationships um, relationships or situationships <laughs> and release and release and release and i find out that for me releasing and 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 forgiveness they go hand in hand they go hand in hand so when i say i forgive a situation a, a relationship or like a situation i don't just forgive it i have to release it i have to let it go I have to let it go I have to let it go so that is how how i do and i have to start for myself first because i'm realizing that a lot of these things when you say okay love you have to love yourself first before you can give love to your neighbor or to somebody else when you say forgive you have to forgive yourself first before you can forgive somebody else when you say self-care you have to i mean when you say care you have to care for yourself first before you know how to care for the next person or for somebody else so i find out that a lot of these things you have to learn to do it to yourself first before you know how to do it to somebody else right now i feel like when you forgive yourself forgiving others becomes easier it becomes easier because when you forgive yourself and you're in a better place and you found love and joy in yourself because that's what it what the, what happens when you forgive yourself when you find love and joy in yourself you don't want you don't allow another person to come and take that love and joy away you don't before it even gets to that point you say okay thank you stay in that corner okay it's all right i will love you from afar it's okay i can love you from afar do you get and then you just you separate yourself and you protect your love and your joy and your happiness that's what I've discovered. So, um, if you guys think this has any value, I want you to drop the comments down below. If it's helped you in any way, drop comments down below. I feel like forgiveness is such a crucial part of my self-development journey. And I would encourage you, it's, not, it's easier said than done, to be honest. It's easier said than done. You can say, oh, forgive, forgive, but it's honestly easier said than done practicing it is not easy for it's not something that you just have to do immediately like that it's, it's a gradual thing you do it gradually step by step step by step and eventually you find out that you're letting go of things a lot easier you're letting go of things a lot easier and you become lighter it's like very liberating you become lighter you become a lot more free yeah so that is my vlog for today i encourage you all just try it out a little bit and let me know what you think um yeah let me know what you think if i've missed anything please drop the comments down below and if there's any key points that you think i haven't included uh please drop the comments down below i'd love to hear from you okay guys thank you very much for tuning in like share subscribe you know and I will see you guys on the next episode of The Inspirations. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.